Welcome to RC Foam Fighter's Bulletproof RC Plane Build Along. The first plane I've decided to build in this series is going to be a Delta flying wing design. Um, it's going to incorporate one of the KF airfoils, the KF airfoil number four for speed. Um, it's also going to be based loosely on the design of the Experimental X45C, which is a, was an experimental uh, plane by Boeing. This design was chosen because of the easiness of the build and the inherent stability of a Delta design. Um, I also wanted it to be something easy enough for anyone to build and fly, especially those who don't have a lot of experience. Don't get me wrong though, this plane will be fast, exciting, fun, and extremely aerobatic. Um, it's going to be especially for those who want to hone their skills and push their limits. As we do this first build along, I'm going to go ahead and build a second plane exactly the same as the one we're going to be building, only without the KF airfoil. Um, I thought it might be a good idea to do a direct comparison between the two planes back to back to see what kind of effects the KF airfoil has as opposed to not having one. Um, I came up with this idea shortly after Dick Klein posted a comment on one of my bullet plane build videos. Um, you can imagine how surprised and excited I was um, knowing that the inventor of the KF airfoil had actually put a comment on one of our videos. Um, after all, it was the very first plane that I've ever built with a KF airfoil. Um, and I was very surprised that he'd left the comment. Um, since then we've been in contact with him and he shared a lot of really good information about the KF airfoil with us and he's agreed to allow us to post some of that information on our blog. So that will be coming up here pretty soon once I get everything together um, and I'll be sure to announce it and make sure everybody knows when it's up there. I'd like to say thanks to Dick Klein for being so helpful and for providing so much insight on the KF airfoils. I'm sure all this information he's provided is going to be extremely helpful to anyone out there who wants to start experimenting with these airfoils. Okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and wind this segment up. Um, starting next week, we're going to go ahead and start with phase one of the build along. So be sure to order all the parts that are going to be listed at the end of the video. And I will also be posting those parts this week on the blog. Um, we will be back on track again now that both Paul and I are back from vacation and I apologize for taking so long to get all this information out to you. But be ready because we're going to start cranking those videos out again because we're back on schedule.